Well, g'day all, Peter Clark here from O'Brien Real Estate and I'm joined once again by Hayley Mitchell and we're talking about the upcoming changes to the Victorian Residential Tenancies Act. And we're now gonna talk about the minimum standards and maintaining a property. Now, this is one that um, could get a little in depth, so we're gonna keep a, a little bit of a brief <laughs> overview, uh, but it is an area that has been a lot of, um, you know, not concerned, but a lot of questioning around. So yeah. let's talk about minimum standards. What can a, a landlord be expected to provide and, and, and a tenant expect to receive? Yeah, so every property across Victoria will have to adhere to rental minimum standards, and that's contained in Schedule 4 of the regular and I've got my notes here and I want to miss any because there's 14 of them so um, I'll do a brief rundown so first of all locks uh, so they all have to be secured with a functioning deadlock which is fine we know about that one we have to provide vermin proof bins and that's a rubbish and recycling bin that's compatible with local council collection so bin with the lid toilets most properties uh, would comply with that one. I'd be very surprised if they didn't. They have to be in good working order um, and in a room that's intended to be used as a toilet area. So you couldn't just have a toilet in a hallway, for example. <laughs> um, bathroom facilities. So they have to meet uh, minimum requirements as well for um, compliance. So star rating. So you'd have to have a three star shower head on the on the shower unless you know due to the old plumbing or gravity fed hot water unit three star won't work then you can do a two star so again that's not a major one kitchen facilities so uh, you have to have a dedicated area for the kitchen you have to have a sink in good working order and a cooktop and then if you have an oven it has to be in good working order as well simple laundry facilities if you have laundry facilities at your property you don't have to but if you do has to be connected to a reasonable supply of hot and cold water so some of the older style houses only have that cold water component yep. you would have to attach that to some hot water as well property has to be structurally sound and weatherproof and free from mold and damp caused by the building structure Electrical safety. So from the 29th of March, 2023, properties have to adhere to electrical safety components, meaning they have to have circuit breakers and RCDs, and they have to be up to a certain standard. So in your older style properties, um, you might have to start budgeting to spend some money on the electrical safety and updating it to today's standards. Window coverings, we have to have window furnishings that reasonably block light and provide privacy to the renter by the 29th of March, 2022, and that's in all bedrooms plus living areas, okay? Windows, uh, they have to be able to be set in the closed and open position. So if you have, say, a older style house and it's got the, Double yeah, and yep. it never stays up and the sash cords are broken, you will need to get those fixed. So that's just something to consider. And you have to have a latch on it to secure against external entry. We have to have adequate lighting in the property and it's got to have access to either natural, borrowed or artificial light. So I'm not really concerned about that one too much. I don't think that will really affect too much of us. Houses have to adhere to ventilation standards as well. I'm not a builder. I'm assuming you're not a builder either. No, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting to find out whether we need to get people out to do inspections to make sure it complies or whether it's upon request. So watch your space on that one. <laughs> the big one's heating. So they wanna make sure that every property in Victoria has adequate heating. You've got a class one and a class two building. So your class one is your houses, your class two is your apartments. So with a class one, they wanna make sure that from the 29th of March, 2023, you have an energy efficient heater in the main living area. So that's either a split system, a gas space heater, and they've got to have two star ratings or above, um, a ducted heating system, a hydronic heating system, or a slow combustion wood heater. They also want to make sure that from the 29th of March 2021, that all properties have a fixed heater in the main living area as well. 
And with apartments, they do want you to put in those energy efficient heating by 2023 as well. However, say you're on the third floor and it was gonna cost you $5,000 to put in a split system, and usually in a house it would be two and a half grand, then you wouldn't have to upgrade to a higher level efficiency for an apartment because it's not financially viable to do so. So they are allowing us to take into uh, consideration the difficulty of access and, and so forth. And the Some cost. Of the buildings that we made. Yeah, yeah. The cost involved there. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the only other thing to be aware of with the minimum standards, they only click in when they're new tenancy agreement is signed. So say you guys have put in a tenant in February this year and they stay there for five years. You don't have to comply with minimum standards on that property until you relet that property. So that's something to consider. It doesn't click in right on 29th of March 2021. We are given that that grace period, grace I guess. Period. Yeah. Terrific. And maintenance for the properties. Has that changed as well? Uh, yeah, so we, we do have to maintain them to certain levels. Um, and if something is in the property, it has to be in working order. So if you have an old gas heater that's been decommissioned, you need to remove it from the property. Yeah, so it can't just be sit sitting there dormant and, and declared not working. It no. actually has to be removed or replaced. That's it. Yeah, and Absolutely. that can be um, a pretty common one, that, because we know there's been a lot of people that have upgraded the heating units, put in ducted heating or reverse cycle air conditioners and the old space heater or, or wall furnace has just been decommissioned. Yep. Now we're going to have to go to the extra effort of making that uh, be physically removed or replacing it. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Guys, thanks again for tuning in. We'll be back with our next update very shortly.